I am at the Fort Kastion in Croatia. It was built in 1881 to protect the city of Pula. But today it's a dog shelter. And I think it's one of the most successful dog shelters in the world. Because every year they took around 400 dogs and every year they adopt 400. I'm Dima, I came here to volunteer a bit. Stay with me if you want to find out what makes them so successful. It's 7.30 in the morning, it's quite rainy outside, but the dogs need to be taken care of and fed and I'm here to start my shift. And today is a very important day because we will send 16 of the dogs to their new home. That's how every day starts. First thing in the morning, we have to feed the dogs. Each dog gets dry and wet food daily. But some of them have special diets with some medicine or special nutrients. Then it's cleaning and washing time. Here on the walls are pictures of the dogs which were successfully adopted. And it goes all the way this hallway. witness home violence the man is beating the wife and when he was like seven eight months old he attacked the man he was protecting uh, the wife and in that moment they decided to put him to sleep the woman called us to help and on a day of euthanasia he came to us but unfortunately he cannot be socialized we have volunteer uh, Christina and uh, Topaz is like her child. She can do whatever, but she cannot take him home because he would kill her mother. Okay. <laughs> well, so, uh, yeah, we'll go for a roll. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. And now it's time for the most exciting part, which is also the highlight of the day. <laughs> Even if it's rain, snow, or thunderstorm, <laughs> he needs to be well anyway. Every dog has their own story. The common things for all of them is the, that they are not wanted. So we are founding them in different way, in the trash bags, in the container, in the wood, on the streets, in the plastic bags, uh, everywhere. We have cases that owners um, seek to take care of the dogs uh, or they die, they are moving somewhere or just they don't want to take care of the dog anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, lucky dog. Yeah. That's how the place where the stand looks inside. It's like a huge room. The walls are very thick and temperatures stay about the same all, all the time. And maybe it's not the coziest place, but it's quite spacious and they also have like the outside cage. Which is good for the dogs because they can stay outside, but today is rainy. <laughs> so being in the forest. So this dog was just taken to the veterinary to do some regular checks. You know how many organizations post pictures and videos with abused and hurt animals? Well, there is one problem with that. With time, people just start to avoid the page, Facebook page, web page, and don't want to see yeah. so many miserable things. And uh, we decided back then we will do the opposite. We will show just the result, a happy adoption. And that's how we start. It was really a slow process, but now we have a result. Uh, every year we take uh, over 400 dogs and we adopt almost 400. 
The car just arrived, which will take the dogs to the Germany. One goes to Königsport, Frankfurt, Frankfurt, Königsport, Frankfurt, Königsport. I don't know where it is, but they surely love dogs there. 14, 15, 16. Yes. Yeah, 16. So we drive the whole time. Like usually we start at 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. and most of the time we stop the next day, 9 p.m. So it's 24 hours. Of course we stop to take out the dogs, but it's just like a five minute break. All five of these dogs will join the car to Germany. Yeah, look, they all got smiles. That single smile here means that they are already adapted. It's quite foggy, but there is a pool. Up. You can see like city of Pula here and on the opposite side there Mediterranean Sea. Yeah, it's quite a nice place. And the advantage of being here in the fortress because around it is that ditch. So the dogs cannot escape. You can easily uh, take them off from the leash and they can like run around here and we're sure that they're not going to escape. She came back from the wet. She received the medication uh -huh. in the elbow. Okay. And in six weeks, weeks we have to repeat it. This is the kitchen and like a living room for everyone, where people could hang out, cook some food there, and also some dogs uh, staying here all the time because either they're quite anxious or some of the dogs been all their life inside the house and they really cannot stay in a cage. Some of the volunteers who are here for a longer time stays right here in those trailers, like right here in the territory of the fortress. The whole this place was given free by the local authorities, so the shelter don't need to pay any rent, but they still got huge, huge expenses. We have costs of 700,000 kuna per year, 100,000 euro, and from Pula we got 20,000 kuna per year, so count. The rest are donated by regular people, like me and you. Since almost all of the dogs will be adopted in another country, we need to film many videos. It's a test for the dogs. New owners want to know how dogs react to the kids, other dogs, cats, horses, how they behave in a noisy environment, like busy streets, supermarkets, in lifts and in cars. Videos could be filmed just with a phone, but they cannot be edited and should show real behavior of the dog. In this way, we make sure the dog feels comfortable to fit the lifestyle of its new owner. But sometimes dogs have a bit difficult character. For example, they're too childish and playful, which means it will be very hard to train them. I made a video for such dog because it was stuck in a shelter already for two months. That's Zlatan and now we're on a mission to make a good video for social networks. How it is to walk with him, how he interacts with other dogs and hopefully after such videos someone will adopt him. Because Zlatan is so playful, I made a funky, energetic video with him, which looked more like an advert. And now he enjoys his life in Germany. Today is Sunday, very sunny and nice weather, and that's why here in the shelter are many, many people. You can see how many cars behind me. On some days it's like 100 people comes here and it's very usual practice for many dog shelters when people could come on weekends and just walk the dogs and it's good both for people and for the dogs as well. You remember Toppy? Yeah, that's aggressive dog. Look at him now. Nice. Right now when he's with you, you would never tell that it's you know such aggressive dog. He's just big baby. I don't know if with uh, adoption it may never happen. He may stuck here for life. 
His owner <coughs> left him this morning by the vet. Wow. We checked his teeth, ears, made some tests so that he can go on the transport. In the afternoon, we made the passport quickly. quickly. Seriously? And he just was abandoned today in the morning? And today he's got his passport and everything and he will go to Germany. Yeah, it was super quick, really. Wow, yeah. that's incredible story. And it's full of incredible stories here. 90% of the dogs are going to Germany, thanks to this lady. I came here years ago. Uh, we saw the leader here, Christina, needs help. I think it was 16 puppies. They all were put here outside. She found them in the morning and she said, I don't know how to adopt them. And I was in Germany over 30 years in animal help, animal rescue, so I had connections. And I said, I will help you. And we were successful. Christina was so happy. And we said, we must help her. She makes it so serious and with so much love that we said, she needs support. When I first came here, the dogs were all around the fort. It was 64 dogs all around. And she told me, like, you don't need to be afraid, you can just come in. And I was terrified because I was never surrounded with so many dogs. We spent some time with the dogs, we went for a walk with what uh, we can feed them. And they say, no, no, we don't have food. It's dog shelter, how we don't have food? No, but we don't have food. We started to go to Slovenia, close the supermarket, Spar, 10 kg of food, 5 euro 99. And we were crossing the border without any documents because we were still not in European Union. And just the feeling of coming here and feeding them and going home knowing that they were fed and they are not hungry today, it was just marvelous. Yeah, we're doing night walk just before the departure. We started loading the dogs and the rain started as well. A few of them already. Uh, it's a very nice car, uh, specially made for transportation. They can control the temperature. Generally, it's gonna be a really nice drive for them. While we were busy preparing the dogs, few of the puppies managed to escape. Again, now we have to catch the puppies. Hey, let's go. So dirty. Ah, oh, it's so wet. Some of the dogs have to change the places because, well, they don't get along quite well. Hey! They've got a long journey ahead of them, so it's important to make sure that uh, all of the dogs are feeling comfortable. Sink je unutra Sara Ford je kuna je, Darwin je, mog poslije, Venus poslije, Dora je unutra, Malajka je tu unutra, Talia je unutra, Jez je unutra, Lumi je unutra. And finally, they're going home. They're gonna drive all night, all the way to Germany. This ain't where I belong. Hey, look at me, man, what I become. Think it's time for me to go Burn all bridges All I know I got lost along the way Fell between the phone Their adoption rate is 99% Which is incredible Because there are dog shelters which can't adopt a single dog for years There are dogs which born and after 10 years died in shelters Everyone here is so passionate They work very hard and long hours and no one got paid for that. Everyone is a volunteer. And everyone really loves these dogs. And that's their secret ingredient. People. Who put dogs in the first place and their own life on second. While all of the dogs are going, there are two who are always staying. Each time I'm here, 
I cannot stop thinking about Toppy. Obviously, we're not gonna be friends. But maybe you can. I'm sure there is someone who can find a connection with this beautiful dog. Especially when you can see how he changed when he is out with someone he trusts. Here are the list of items which is always needed here. You can also donate money, volunteer, adopt the dog, or even share pictures and videos. There are many ways how you can be involved and helpful. Thank you for watching and be brave to act.